Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. As you can hear from my voice, I have a bit of a cold, but I decided not to postpone this video because I think the topic is important enough. Now, as suggested from the title, we are going to talk about understanding or creating or implementing a backup strategy. And I'm going to talk about in this video about the Synology world, but really this relates to any other vendor, for example, QNAP. If you're a QNAP user, all you have to do is to translate the Synology solutions to their counterpart in QNAP. Now, a backup strategy is such a big buzzword and the first order of business for me is to take this buzzword and bring it down to earth so that everyone will be able to understand and evaluate where he is located or situated. Now, a backup strategy really boils down to asking yourself a question, if something happens to my critical data, and I'm talking critical, not Plex library videos, but for example, business documents that if we're lost will cost you money. If something happens to this data, do I have a way to recover and bring it back? And if the answer is no, then we need to implement some sort of a backup strategy. Now, the best scenario or the best practice is in the, called in the industry the three to one backup strategy. Three stands for having three copies of your data, not one, not two, three. Two stands for having two different media formats. And one stands for one of the three copies to be located off-site, physically different than your location. Now, the closer we will get to the three to one backup strategy, the safer our data will be. Now, I created a sort of a diagram so that we will be able to examine certain common use cases. So if we take a look at this diagram and start, for example, with the laptop, if we have critical data on our laptop, that's our first copy. But at this point, it's the only copy. Something happens to the laptop, the data is gone. To remediate it, we can use Active Backup for Business or Synology Drive. By the way, I have a, a video on uh, using Active Backup for Business to back up a computer. You can watch it right here. But using these solutions, we can create backup tasks and then we start to have a second copy of the data on our Synology NAS. That's great. If you're a home labor or a small business and you use virtual machines, then you probably have a physical hypervisor or several. And at this point, your virtual machines on the, hyper, uh, on the hypervisor are your only copy. To remediate it, we can use Active Backup for Business. And I have a video on how to backup virtual machines using Active Backup for Business. You can watch it right here. But using this technique will now allow you to have second copy of your virtual machines on your Synology NAS. For mobile photos, I know most Android users use Google uh, Cloud services and iPhone users use iPhone users use Apple's services, but you don't have to. But for argument's sake, you have your first copy, the photos, on the device itself. And using Synology Photos, you will have a second copy on your Synology NAS. Now, the last use case, and it's more common uh, than you think, is using this your Synology NAS is sort of your file server. And I had a lot of people tell me my data is safe because it's not located on any of my computers. They can die all day long. The data is on my NAS and it's safe. Now, it's somewhat true, but it creates sort of a single point of failure because if something happens to your NAS, your data is gone. Now, you can sort of remediate it a little bit by using Synology Snapshot Replication app and create snapshots, points in time, and this will bring you a sort of a soft recoverability option because soft stands for the NAS still being alive and just some of the data is gone. You can use snapshots to bring the data back. Now, it's not really a backup, but it's almost, so I, I decided to mention it in this diagram, but again, it does, it does provide you certain recoverability options. It's not really a backup. The last option mentioned in this diagram is Cloud Sync, but it's mentioned in specifically to say that Cloud Sync is not backup, period. This app syncs your data from your NAS to your cloud providers. It's not a backing up 
solution because if you accidentally delete the data on your shared folder, this deletion action will be synced to the cloud. Now I know some cloud providers provide you with a, a recycle bin functionality so you can recover data from the cloud, but that's all fine and well as long as the cloud provider is willing to provide this functionality. Tomorrow they can decide they don't do it anymore. Syncing is not backing up. Cloud sync is not a backup solution. I've had too many people telling me that their data is safe because it's on the NAS and also backed up to the cloud using cloud sync. Cloud sync is not backup. All right, so at this point, we mostly have first copy on the device and the second copy on our Synology NAS, but we need to take into account that much like any other electronic device, your NAS will also die at some point. It can, it can happen tomorrow, it can happen in a month, in a year, in five years, but it will happen. And we need to prepare for the day that happens. In order to remediate having your primary Synology NAS lost is using hyper backup. And like me, for example, I have another Synology NAS at my parents' house and I regularly back up data from my local NAS to the NAS at my parents' house. But I get it that not everyone can or have a secondary NAS or a secondary location to place a NAS. But you can use, for example, Hyper Backup to send data not to a secondary NAS but to a cloud provider. Synology has their C2 service but you can use other cloud providers. But at this point, you need to take into account that if you want this third off-site copy of the data, and believe me, you do want it, there will probably be some sort of a cost attached to it. Either the upfront cost of a secondary NAS and drives, or the recurring cost of a cloud provider. But at this point, it needs to be well, well aware that it's no longer just a technical question, it's now also a financial question and that co that's completely up to your consideration. Having this third off-site copy is for me the most critical part of this whole backup strategy, but again it's up to you. For the last use case, the file server, the shared folder icon here, the off-site location is really just the second copy of the data. So Depending on the criticality of the data, I will suggest creating or using Hyper Backup on the secondary NAS to, pro to create a backup task to a cloud provider to have this third kind of, uh, of copy. It will look something like this. So let's now open our scope to see the full picture. And now we can ask ourselves, on our laptop, for example, if the data on our laptop is lost, do we have a way to recover? And the answer is yes, from our primary Synology NAS. If our primary Synology NAS is, uh, is gone, are we left with just the one copy? Or do we have a way to recover? And the answer will be yes. We have a secondary location, a secondary NAS or a, or a cloud backup. So once our primary Synology dies and we will replace it, we will have a way to bring back the data to our primary NAS and start the backup cycles as if nothing happened data-wise. So guys, that was my interpretation or uh, attempt to explain a backup strategy. I hope this was informative for you. If you like this video, please give it a like and I will see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.